Hello friends, welcome to the Osaka. My name is Delali Frank and this is News Daily where I serve you with all the major trending news in the last few hours. In today's edition, we're going to talk about Ghanaian player Fata Ushaku. He has reacted after qualifying Leicester City to the English Premier League or back into the English Premier League. We're also going to talk about the Wafu Under-17 Championship that is going to happen in Ghana. Ghana Under-17 team will be part of that competition the fixtures are out i'm here to tell you the details of the fixtures where the games are going to be played some of the games will be played in a sports stadium and other stadium in ghana i'm going to give you the details of that and all the teams that are going to happen and even when the first game is going to be played we are also going to talk about a ghanaian player who has proposed to his wife we're going to talk about who his girlfriend i should say talk about who the player is the details of that and then we'll talk about the champions league it looks as if PSG has perhaps been cursed or they may never win the, the Champions League. And I don't know why. We talk about the Champions League, the semi-finals and the team that have qualified as well. So today is going to be an exciting video. As usual, your first time, please hit on the subscription button so that we can build this community together. But at the end of the video, I'm also going to leave shout outs to those that have leave comments in my previous video. So please, if you watch this one, also leave a comment so that you'll be part of this brilliant community or just growing community as usual my name is delali frank without wasting much time let's get straight into today's news so let's start off with fata ishaku you know leicester city have finally or officially qualified back into the english Premier league after they got relegated they signed ishaku on loan from Sporting CP and Ishaku after joining Sporting has been an exceptional talent. You all know it. I know it. You know it. How brilliant he has been for Leicester City. And it was there was a clause in his maybe his uh, loan deal that if he's able to manage to qualify Leicester City back into the English Premier League, they are going to trigger the 17 million euros buyback clause or sign-on clause. Now what he's in in contract and Leicester City has officially triggered it as I have been bringing you the details. So now he's officially going to be a Leicester City player. That's the good news. But when Leicester City qualified or won the championship, because the difference between winning the championship and qualifying, the first team after, at the end of the season wins the championship, but other teams also qualify back into the English Premier League. So Leicester City apart from win, apart from qualifying, won the championship. So when they won, there was a brilliant parade where Shaku was part of it and he was interviewed. He was asked some few questions about the qualification and he said, he said, what a day. He said, it feels so amazing. He likes using amazing very much. Like he's one of them players that love using amazing. Yeah. He said, what a day. It feels so amazing. This is so special. I can't explain how I am feeling right now. It's so amazing. I'm so happy. I love to make the supporters happy because they are here for us. I just try to dance to make it more fun. As always, as I always say, a special thing for me. I can't forget this day. This is something special for me in my career. We thank God for everything. That's Leicester City, Ishaku. And also, you know something special that happened? When Leicester City were striking, you know, Leicester City were leading now and then something happened what happened was they started struggling losing some games ishaku might have visited ishaku in england and left a message for him his son he told them he believes that they can at the end of the day they can qualify that's a mother's love what that message that ishaku's mother left for him i also believe played a huge role in motivating the team and everybody in the club but that's what Ishaku said he's very proud feels amazed and also the reason why he's been dancing, he has revealed it. He danced to make the players happy and the fans especially happy because that's who he is. He's an exciting kid. He's one of them players that is always happy, always excited to show what he's capable of. So Ishaku contributed a total of six goals. He scored six goals for Leicester City and 13 assists in total. That was an exceptional football by all standards. Brilliant footballer. And one that we are all proud and excited. Had a total of 18, uh, 19 goal contribution for Leicester City. One of them brilliant kids that Canyons will love and will grow to admire. A brilliant player by all standards. And I'm excited that he's getting his fate. Because he's a very special kid. No matter what you say. 
a very special kid that Ghanaians needs to see him excel and play at the maximum top. Let's talk about the Wafu under 17. So there's a Wafu championship that's going to happen in Ghana. Wafu Zone B championship. That's the under 17. That competition is going to serve as one. The qualifiers to the under 17 African Cup of Nations. And also that same tournament is also going to be the qualifiers for the under 17 World Cup. Ghana has struggled to qualify. Because in most cases, the first two teams that go to the finals and then the third place team usually qualified to the AFCON. Ghana have always failed to go to the finals, even when we host it here. And Ghana has even failed to be third place. And that has been a problem. The last time we hosted it here in, in Cape Coast, we failed to qualify. Now, Lai and his boys are in charge and they are hoping to qualify. So yesterday... The first chest was released by the Wafu Secretariat. The first game is going to be Ghana against Cote d'Ivoire. Ghana will play against Ivory Coast on 15th May at exactly 4 p.m. at the University of Ghana Sports Stadium. That's the first game and the first kickoff. The second game is going to be Burkina Faso versus Nigeria. That's going to be on 16th May, 3 p.m. at the University of Ghana Sports Stadium. On the same day, which is 16th May, at exactly 6 p.m., there's going to be Togo versus Niger. And then there's going to be a break on 17th. The players and the teams will rest. And then Cote d'Ivoire will play Benin on 18th at exactly 4 p.m. at the University of Ghana Sports Stadium. Ghana will not play on that day. The next day is going to be Togo versus Burkina Faso on 19th at 3 p.m. at the University of Ghana Sports Stadium. Niger versus Nigeria will be 19th, 6 p.m. at the University of Ghana Sports Stadium. And then there'll be a break on 20th. Ghana will come back and come and play Benin on 21st May, 4 p.m. at the University of Ghana Sports. So Ghana's game is 15th, 4 p.m. at the University of Ghana Sports Stadium. 21st, which is Benin versus Ghana, 4 p.m. at the University of Ghana Sports Stadium. And then Nigeria will play Burkina Faso on the next day, which is 22nd May, 4 p.m. at the University of Ghana Sports Stadium. Nigeria will then play Togo on 23rd, on 22nd, I should say, that's the same day at the Accra Sports Stadium. So Nigeria will play Burkina Faso, uh, sorry, Niger will play Burkina Faso at the University of Ghana Sports Stadium, whilst Nigeria play Togo at the Accra Sports Stadium. That's the only game that will be played at the Accra Sports Stadium, I believe. And then there'll be a two-day break from 23rd to 24th. And they'll come back and come and play the first semi-final, which is going to be between the first Group A winner and the second place in Group B. That game is going to be played at the University of Ghana Sports Stadium. The second game is going to be played at the University of Ghana. That's the second semi-final game, which is the first, the, the first Group B and then the second in Group A. They're also going to play at the University of Ghana Sports Stadium the same day but at 6 p.m. That's the semi-final game is on 25th May at 6 p.m. It's 3 p.m. and then 6 p.m. And then there's a break for the third place and then the finals, which is going to be played at 28th May, 6 p.m. at the University of Ghana Sports Stadium. So the third place and then the first place or the, the third place game and then the first place game all will be played at the University of Ghana Sports Stadium. So, if I'm going to summarize Ghana's game, Ghana is in a group that has only three teams. That's why Ghana is playing only a few games. So, the participating teams are Nigeria, Ghana, Cote d'Ivoire, Benin, Niger, Togo, and Burkina Faso. Those are the teams. Ghana will be playing the first game, which is Ghana versus Cote d'Ivoire. And then the second game, the second group game for Ghana is Benin versus Ghana. Let's wrap up with this love story so you remember there's this lady that uh, the Ghanaian player has proposed to yaya boa you know yaya boa yeah, the, the, the black stars winger who plays for columbus crew has officially proposed to his girlfriend the girlfriend shared a video or a post on instagram with the diamond ring and it's been on social media this particular lady dated thomas party before party's recent a girlfriend so the lady is she's a lady that has loves i think loves around being around footballers but just as medical we see 
the girl that you are dating is not the one that you when you were young or the lady you went ahead to marry or the guy you went ahead to marry is not the one that you started your relationship life with so everything happens so the finally yaya Bo has proposed to the lady and look like they are excited people they've been together they've been training together the lady is a model who is based in the u.s so the young man is also in the u.s found his lover and he has officially proposed to the lady and the lady has also said yes i will marry you the lady yaya Bo said will you be my girl will you be my wife or will you marry me and he said yes baby put it there yeah that's it. i'm just being dramatic but don't worry so that's it yeah Yabo has officially said will you marry me and the lady has also said yes i do she's called miss boache boache is known you don't, it's not good to be calling a lady by her surname you know that yeah but she said she said she's a nice lady very beautiful one and we are all happy that her name is gifty boache so miss gifty boache is officially engaged to Yaya Boa. And for me, I'm excited. We wish them the best of luck. When anything happens, the details and the marriage happens, we're going to let you know. So that's it. Let's wrap up with the Champions League. PSG, in a year that we thought that this time on Kwadi, mm, they are going to win the Champions League or perhaps qualify to the finals. They've bottled it. Managed to come back and beat Barcelona. So is it, that mean that Barcelona are very poor? Or what? Because PSG managed to come back and beat Barcelona only to lose to Borussia Dortmund in a season that they are not even in top four. Because they are not even in top four in the Bundesliga. But they managed to beat PSG over two legs. They scored them at home, went to Paris and also managed to beat them. Nobody thought it. Nobody saw it coming. But that has actually happened. Today is going to be Bayern Munich and Real Madrid is going to be an interesting game. The first leg ended 2 2 in Germany. Bayern Munich are going to the Santiago Bernabeu to play with Real Madrid, and it's going to be a tough game. Let me know what you think. Who is going to qualify? The way PSG bottled this, Real Madrid has a very tough job to do. But when they play, once they are playing at home, this is going to be a very close encounter. Do you want me to stick out my neck? I think it's going to be a game that will be full of goals. Over 1.5 goals, obviously, it's going to happen. If you like, also go for more corners too as well. Because it's going to be a game of attacking. Both coaches are going to be slightly careful. But both players, both teams have players that are very, very offensive-minded. It's going to be end-to-end -end action. Real Madrid are playing home. I don't see Bayern Munich making their way to qualify. Real Madrid... Their side, you don't know how they are going to play. You don't know the team that will show up. But at the end of the day, they will end up winning the game. And that's what they do in the Champions League. I think Real Madrid will be Real Madrid in this game. And will end up winning and going to the finals. The finals is in Wembley. If I get the chance, I may go. If somebody will sponsor me and let me go to the Champions League finals, I'll be the happiest man on earth. But, just I'm saying, it's going to be an exciting game. Wishing both teams the best of luck. But, I see... Real Madrid going into the finals. Let me know what you think in the comment section about who is going to be in the finals. So today we talked about Ghana under 17. We also talked about the Wafu Championship. We talked about Yaya Boy and his girlfriend. We talked about Fata Ushaku and then we wrap up with the Champions League. As usual, my name is Delali Frank. Until we meet again, bye-bye for now.